<clears throat> okay, and good morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Thursday's um, maths lesson. So this is Thursday, the 28th of January. Can you believe nearly the end of January? Okay, so let's have a little look. So if you remember, <clears throat> okay, so if you remember what you were doing yesterday, we were adding together and we were thinking about um, repeated addition. So how many apples are there? So have a look at these pictures and see if you could work out what two add two add two add two is. And I wonder if you're able to do that by counting in twos. Have a look here. How many cubes are there? Can you count in fives? OK, pause the video here and have a go. OK, so hopefully you went two. Add two, add two, add two is two, four, six, eight. Brilliant. And I hope you had to go at counting in five. So five, ten, fifteen. So well done if you did that. Brilliant. OK, let's move on to our learning this morning. Now this morning, we are going to be looking at something called arrays. OK, so basically what that means is we're going to be looking at how our objects are set out in rows and columns. OK, so here this is a row. So a row goes from left to right or right to left. OK, and then columns go from top to bottom or bottom to top. OK, so how many so it's circle it says circle each of uh, the row of sweets so i've done the first row this is another row and then this is another row so imagine this is like when we're sitting in our rows when we talk about sitting in your rows in the classroom okay so how many rows are there so there's one two three rows okay this time I'm going to be thinking about columns. So it says circle each column of apples. So I did the first one. So there's another column. Here's another column. And here's another column. So how many columns are there? So I've got one, two, three, four. OK. So it's a bit like thinking about when you're thinking about arrays, thinking about grouping, OK? But we think about rows and we think about columns. OK, let's move on to have a little thing. So I'm going to work through here. This is my turn and I'm going to read the questions and then I'm going to see if I can answer them. So let's have a think. So it says here, so it says complete the sentences. So it says here, there are some how many something counters in each row. Now I need to remember that a row goes from left to right. So there's a row. OK, so how many counters is in the row? So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. OK. And then how many rows are there? So I've got one and I've got two rows okay so then there are how many counters all together so again i'm going to count in five so i'm going to go five ten or i could have used my double in and gone double five is ten so i know there's ten counters all together okay i'm just going to rub those out because it's then asking me to think about columns OK, so it's asking me. So the first question down here by B says there are something counters in each column. So this is a column going from top to bottom. So this is a column. So how many counters are in that column? So there's two. How many columns? There are something columns. So how many columns are there? So I've got one. Two columns three columns, four columns, five columns. OK, so 
So now you can see my columns so again. So it's just a, a different way of thinking about grouping. So I'm thinking about there are five columns. There are how many counters all together? OK, so I should know there's 10 because when I counted the rows, I knew that if there was five and five was 10, but I'm just going to check and I'm going to practice my counting in two. So I'm going to go two, four, six, eight, ten. OK. So let's move on. So this is your turn. So again, in a moment, you might want to pause the video and then you need to work out how many counters are in each row. How many rows do you have? How many counters altogether? Then you need to think about the columns. OK, so how many counters are there in a column? How many columns and how many counters altogether? So you just need to remember that rows go from left to right and columns go from top to bottom. OK, so pause the video there and have a little think about that. OK, so hopefully I'm going to do the first one. So it says there are how many. So my rows, if you remember, that's a row. So how many counters have I got in, in each row? I've got one, two, three, four, five. And I know that they're all going to be equal. OK, so how many rows have I got? I've got one, two, three. I've got three rows. So how many counters are there all together? Now I'm going to use my counting in five because I know each one of those rows has got five in it. So I'm going to go five, 10, 15. If you couldn't count in fives, that's absolutely fine. You could have counted them all individually. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do now is just, I'm going to rub that off because now I'm going to think about the columns because I know that columns go in a different direction. So there are how many counters in each column? So I know a column goes from top to bottom. So there's a column. So how many counters are in there? One, two, three. Oh, so I'm writing three. There are how many columns? So I've got one, two, three, four, five. OK, so there are five columns now. How many counters all together? So I should know there was 15 because I haven't changed. I haven't added or taken away any counters. All I've done is is just drawn um, my I've, I've now made them into columns as opposed to rows. Now, the other thing I could check and I could go one, two, three. Now, I could count in threes. Now, we've not been counting in threes. OK, but I'm going to do count in threes. It's not, some of you may be able to do it. So I'm just going to go three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. OK, so you hopefully notice there that the number of counters didn't change. I've just I've just changed the way that I've grouped them. OK, don't worry if you're finding this difficult. This is something that we will come back over again um, towards the end of the year. So don't worry. And this, as I say, is the beginnings of multiplication, which you will also be doing when you come into year two. OK, so thinking about this then, how can I show the following array? So here it says there are two counters in each column and there are six columns. So I'm going to get out one, two, because it's telling me that there's two counters in each column and there's my column, but it tells me that I need six of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, so there's one, that's two, three, you can count with me, three, four, five, six. And I'm just going to prove that. I'm just going to draw around it. So I'm going to go, there's two, it says two counters in each column. I've got two counters in each column. 
if you can see these are my columns and each one of them has two counters in it and there should be six i should have six circles i've got one two three four five six so i know that i've done that right okay so this is your turn so you're going to be thinking about there are five counters in each row so remember that a row goes from left to right and that there are six rows okay so pause the video here and you might want to have a go at drawing that out okay so let me just do that so and we'll have yellow ones i think so we've got one so my rows are going this way this time remember three four five so there's my first row because it says five counters in each row so there's my first row so what I'm going to do, because it's quick, I'm just going to group them like that. And then I need to do six of them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to run out of room, so I'm just going to add that next one up at the top there, six. OK, so I'm just going to check because I'm going to draw around them. So I have got five counters in there and that's my one row two rows oh i'm getting a bit wobbly now three rows oh my goodness me how wobbly i'm getting four rows five rows and six rows well done so I've got five counters in each row and then you've got six rows. Well done if you did that. OK, let's have a little look. OK, so this is just a little problem. This says that Eva begins to make an array with 20 counters. She has made her first row and column complete her array. OK, so. She's got so far, she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she's used eight counters. So over here, she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So she's got eight here and twelve there, and that makes twenty. So I need to finish off her array. So she says she's got so here, she's going to have one, two, three, four, five. She's saying she's having five counters in each row so i'm going to carry on with that three four five so hopefully there should be enough for one two three and four five brilliant yes so she's completed it now this is a challenge here write two number sentences to go with this array so thinking about the groupings what repeated additions could i write for it okay so i am going to just show you so if i group if i do my rows first that's one row that's two rows that's three rows that's four rows so she's got four rows with five in it five so i'm going to do five add five add five add five so i would do five five add oh add add five add five add how many fives am i adding together one two three four add i've only got one two three four equals now i'm going to count in fives five ten fifteen twenty so that array so it's, again it's just like grouping isn't it so we, but we call them the rows and columns and it's just the way that groups are set out OK, so I'm going to rub away that and then this time I'm going to make columns 
and then work out what my repeated addition is going to be for that. OK, so how many columns will I have? I will have one column, two columns. I wonder if you could work out how many I'm going to have. Three columns, four columns, and five columns. Fantastic. So now this time I need to work out in each of my columns. I've got four. I've got four in there. Four, four. So I'm going to do four, add four, add four, add four, add four. So I'm adding together five fours. So I'm going four. Let me just make that a bit better. So I'm going four. Oh, I keep doing that, don't I? Add four, add four, add four, add four. Let me just check. I should have one, two, three, four, five fours. <gasps> two, three, four, five fours equal. Now, counting in fours is really tricky. That's sort of a year three, but uh, because I haven't changed any of my counters, have I? All I've done is changed how I've grouped them. I should know that my number is 20. I could check by going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. OK, so that was a little bit of a challenge. Some of you may have got that and really don't worry if you haven't. OK, so let's have a little look at our work for today. So what you need to do here, you need to work out there are how many apples in each row. So remember, rows go from left to right and then there and then how many rows have you got? Then you need to work out how many pairs in each column. How many columns have you got? And then we're going back to rows again. How many apples in each row? How many rows? How many pairs in each column? How many columns? OK. The goal is very similar to what we just we've just done through the lesson. You need to show this. There are two counters in each column. There are four. Oh, it says counters. It's meant to say four columns. I keep making spot the mistake on each one, Mrs Humphreys. I do apologise. That's meant to say columns. I think it's tiredness sometimes. OK, so not counters. There are four columns. OK, what I might do is just see if I can get rid of that. Here we go. OK, so columns. So there are two counters in each column there are four columns and this one there are five counters in each row there are three rows okay and then the platinum says that edward says i have 10 counters and he's saying that he can make an array with five counters in each row okay so you might want to pause it here and then obviously the answers will be um, on the next slide. Good luck with that and really don't worry if you found the, find this tricky today. OK, so hopefully this is what you came up with, that you, these are your rows and that you said you've got two apples in each row and there are four rows. Here you've said that there's two in each column and then there's five columns, ten apples in each row and then there are three rows, two again in each column and then this time there are eight columns so this is what your array should look like so remember that should say columns we know spot the mistake mrs humphreys i don't even know if i can spell it correctly okay so you should have had two there's two there's one column one two three four columns and then this one's my row, so there's one row of five, another row of five, another row of five. And then Edward, yes, he can do it. He can have um, an array which has five in each row. Yes, he will have two rows of five. There's one row of five and there's another row of five. So well done if you managed to get on with that work today.